Hello my convicts and convict heads, yes so I designed a cup convict and yes we're going to play some Fortnite, I've not played this game in a very long time. So I thought we'd drop in, we'd give it a bash and we'd see how we do, you know I wasn't expecting to do anything super duper in this game, but I guess it's not for everyone. Uh, to me, like I've said and I keep on saying, Fortnite really isn't the typical same style battle royale you expect with other games where you shoot them and then you've got other mechanics. For me it always feels that Fortnite is build, edit and then shooting. So it's more about the building and editing than it is actually about shooting in this game. So I picked up all those lettuces or cabbage. It's cabbage. And saw this other shotgun, it's like, oh, I'll take that one. I kind of like the charge shotgun, and I don't. The reason why I'm not a big fan of it is because obviously you've got to charge it up to begin with, but not only that, you can't really do anything while you're charging the gun. You're kind of left really, really defenseless. And like I said, with this game being more based on build and edit, it's a gun that has a very awkward place in the game. Yes it does extreme damage and if you headshot people I think you can one shot them most times but it's a really really, really big risk because every time you do it you, you never know if they just build they can just build or edit because you can clearly hear. Now Cypher PK did mention about the possibility of doing what the Peacekeeper does in Apex where you charge it up and then once you release, if you don't shoot it, it still stays charged and then the next shot you shoot, shoots out the charged blast, as long as you do it within obviously the time. Which I think would be probably a better place for that kind of shotgun at the moment. And if you notice here, I'm actually using my own made up version of, is it Maya or Maya, whatever her name is? The creator character skin where you, you create her clothes and everything. And this is what I came up with. Like, oh, I love, I love it like this. Kind of like an army girl with tattoos. Minus the katana on the back. That's from my, my Deadpool. I've still not changed all the emotes and stuff from being from Deadpool. At the moment. One thing I really do need to learn in this game though is where people land. What's the best place? So I can land nearish to that place, get some decent weapons, and then go to that place. Because at the moment, I'm struggling. I struggle a lot of the times with this kind of game because I just can't find it. For, for this particular game, it feels like map design is really really off because you don't know where people are at half the time now I'm completely blind because I've just seen someone now I'm looking back, back at it there's someone on my left here where that house is because it's just built above it now obviously as I heard them because I've got visualization on because I don't like the audio in this game I really feel that Fortnite has probably got one of the worst styles of audio and uh, you know Apex is somewhat problematic but Fortnite oh my god the the level of verticality in that that comes into the audio on that absolutely insane and it just puts me off completely Trying to figure out. Now, I didn't mean to do this, but I'm using the crash deployments, making an absolute sandwich of it. I wanted to get on top of the building, but it didn't happen. I was like, okay, well, fine. I just simply can't get up there for some reason. I wanted to bounce up and then tackle him, not take for a and do stupid stuff. But hey ho. I'll give him a bit of a tickle. It's like, go on. Open the door, I dare you. And as you can see, it's somewhat trying to debate me by 
doing editing, excuse me. I'm like, well, come then, come to the window. I dare you. It's like, yeah, you edit, that's alright. And I'll just shoot you in the face. I'm like, right, I'm just gonna push him. Maybe if I go nade him, get him out. I'm like, come on, don't be a coward. Give him another tickle. I'm like, right, surely he's nearly dead. Oh, there we go. Blue shotgun. I'm like, come on. Don't be shy. Like, okay. Let me throw another grenade. Now, I was tempted to try and hit underneath. Uh, I accidentally dropped down. I didn't mean to drop down here. Like, right, if I can place a floor, then uh, obviously I can walk along it. I'm like, come on, come out, start hiding. Like, come on, I dare you. It's like, right, I'll, I'll throw another grenade if I have to. I'm just trying to watch out for his edits. <laughs> like, okay. And I actually thought this was going to hit me, but luckily it didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh god, no, don't go there yourself, what we do? So I don't know what the plan was here for this guy, it's just more annoying than anything. I'm like, right, I'm just gonna whack the floor. And I was like, hang on, I'll just shield up because he's, he's just been a pansy anyway. And there you go, you're out of here. That was probably one of the most annoying people to go against. You know, it's like, just stop being a girl, get out of here, and let's duke it out. One of the problems, obviously, not being able to build and edit as fast. Now, obviously, I can look into probably uh, tweaking some things around, but because I've not played the game for such a long time as well, I'm not too fussed you know, about setting up too much with this game. I might try and get back into it. So the storm's up my booty. I was like, oh god, I'm going to die here because if I don't get back in, I'm not going to get away from this. Which would have sucked. But luckily, for me, I was able to outrun this. So, very lucky that it wasn't as close getting me as I expected. I thought I'm, I'm going to get caught in it at least. So yeah, Evicting number one managed to take him out after he did 20,000 edits for no reason. It's like, hey, let's go here. It's like, hang on, could we get a snipe? You never know. Could there be someone going? I pick gun. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Nobody to kill. Not this time around, buddy. But yeah, I, I can't believe how quiet. And they're part of the um, annoying people that chase people around. Is that okay? I can hear people. That's a start. One of the reasons why I like visualization because it points out where people are, which is really cool. I noticed here I was struggling to do fine, like very fine, tiny aim for some weird reason. It was very, very clunky. As you can see, I'm kind of going, Why is it so weird? I put a little bit of pressure and it. I've got no dead zones on in Fortnite. The only dead zone I put on at the time was on my controller. So here you see me stopping and going back to blue mode just to double check, but they still felt weird. It's like if they've done something with a really, really fine, really, really fine aim, which is kind of weird. So it doesn't res respond as easy or it's not as fine. And I guess I could have used the extra yaw and pitch. It's like, how did this guy build this up here? I don't know. He's not even looking at it and he's managed to build a pyramid above. And then there's two doors. I'm like, why is there two doors here? I'm like, what? What's this? Why is there two doors? I'm like, I'm coming in. 
I'm gonna break in. And then, as you can see, the wall's still there. I'm like, what? So I'm trying to break the wall again. It's like, right, finally. We're in. I'm like, no, 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 you're not gonna shoot me with that. I know when you're gonna do it. Right, come on. Don't be shy. And my dude here gets killed by someone else. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> Where did this guy come from? Was he camping here all the time or something? I'm trying to hopefully build here. Having a few dilemmas building. As you can see as well with visualization, someone's healing. It actually cho shows you them healing. You can see the green healing sign, which is really cool. So you know someone's healing up. It's like, okay. And then someone sniped him and was like, okay, where was that? Some dweeb is trying to shoot me from afar. I'm like, well, I can't see him. Like, uh, I don't know. Let me get down and uh, keep moving. And obviously keep an eye out for this dude behind me. Like, I'm gonna hide here for a minute in the bush till he comes out. He's like, ah, here he is. Can I snipe him? No, because you're terrible at sniping. He's like, whoa! I don't know how he's just lasered me there. I'm like, right, I'm just gonna go in. I'm going all in. And there we go. And one thing I didn't notice, there was healing there. Because I'm blind, but now I'm looking back at it, I can see. Now the only option here was like, oh my god, am I going to die, or can I make it? Can I escape the zone flying in the helicopter? I'm like, surely I can. I'm like, oh, please, please, please don't kill me. And there we go. <laughs> I was so damn lucky to get out. My first thoughts was, I'm getting out of this thing, I'm just going to drop, get out, and I'm going to leg it. Not bothered about anything else. I half expected someone to be here. Because obviously they've edited through, but luckily there was no one here. I don't know if that was my helicopter that was just stolen. I wasn't too fussed. I was just more interested in getting in the zone. Getting out of it. Not a big fan of helicopters, especially now, obviously, you've got to physically land it. It can't be. You can't jump out and sort of deploy anything. So as you can tell, I'm trying to get some wood here because I've got literally hardly any wood left. And this guy's already up here. I was like, okay, you're already up top. Let me drop down for a minute. And he obviously was a bit lower. And again, the shotgun is like, oh my god, someone else is shooting me now. Like, why? And then someone else has come here as well. Well, I'm just going to shield up while they're busy. Right, hang on, where is he? And I just saw this guy. He's like, oh, there's a guy here. I'm, like, I'm just going to break through and kill him. Give him a bit of a tickle. I was going to shoot him out, as you can see there, but unfortunately I just didn't have... The gun reloaded at that time. As you can see, another reason why I like visualizations because you can obviously see where things are happening. It's like, where is he? Where could he be? And then started shooting the thing here. It's like, okay, let me place the top because I don't know whereabouts he is. I'm like, right, I'm just going to drop down, take over the floor just in case. And it took off, so I was like, oh, okay. He's going to disappear, that's fair enough. He 
give me a chance to obviously get some more stuff because I literally didn't have enough materials as you can see and that was my biggest worry is trying to tackle people with tons of maths and I've got none. Which is why I was trying to play it safe and not sort of push too hard because of the fact that I just didn't have materials to do it. Take the tree with me. And I noticed obviously the cabbages here, I was like, ah, I can you can consume these, can't you? So this will get me back to full health where I need to be. And there we go. And as you can see this guy here, I can see him coming. I can't hear him, you can't hear him, but I could see his feet, but you couldn't hear him. He had no sound at all, which is kind of weird that visualization picks up that his feet is there, but yet you can't hear that. Which is one reason why I use visualizations quite a lot, because it doesn't make sense. The, the actual audio of the game doesn't make sense, you can't hear sometimes. It's like, okay, well, someone's shooting at me, I don't know where. I need to keep out of the way of that. Okay, I, I know where you are. Right, come on in, come along. If you're going to break in, just do it! And then I got stuck here, I don't know what happened, but I couldn't get out of the edit mode. Luckily, I managed to destroy him. Only just. I was very worried, because at that point I got stuck. I don't know why I couldn't get out of the blueprint mode there. It was really weird. Now I've got the infinite chug jug. So I knew it was pretty okay at this point. Uh, at this point I was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to make this, am I? Uh, I was like, no, I'm just going to keep moving, bugger it. I was like, ah, someone's sniping at me. Go away, leave me alone. Like, let me just give me a chance to do this because I always like to have this this way shotgun, sub, and AR. You'll notice I use that quite often. And my damn, my dude, <laughs> I destroyed this guy so quick. And then I did get eventually get sniped. Like, okay, well, I've got my infinite chug joke, so I'm alright. Just take the mini just in case he rushes me. Like, right, give me a chance now to chug, 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 chug. Give it the old chug jug. I was like, oh god, what's that? Is that those stupid raiders? I'm like, where are they? And as you can see, um, the other guy was taking him out as well. But can you see that aim there? I don't know what's up with the aiming with the ADS in the game, but it's so weird at the moment. Like, no, you're not sniping me. You've got no chance. And uh, take the. The launch pad over here. I've got another two launch pads, so I wasn't too worried. And then just follow it around. Okay, where are you? I'm, like, right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to place here for a moment and then just see how we go. I did try to build here, but as you can see, you can't build here. It's like, go on, build. Like, jeez, how long? I know one was over here. I've got launch pads to launch over there if I needed to. And then I saw, obviously, I was pretty exposed. I felt exposed, so built up a little bit higher and then someone's parachuting in. I'm like, where? I can't see him. Like, did he go down there? I don't know. 
And then I saw him over there. Is that okay? And then he starts shooting. Is that okay? Well, I'll just block you off. Build it a little bit higher. And then if I need to move, obviously I've got an easy access to another launch pad. Now what I meant to do here is deploy it and land up here. <laughs> Stupidly, I fell short. I was like, okay, I'm just going to hide here. And I'm thinking, right, what do I do here? Because obviously I can't do too much at the moment. And trying to get up there is going to be difficult as well. Like, um, do I build? I'm like, okay, what I'll do, I'll start building uh, area in which to make it more difficult for him because he's got to then at least come down and fight me rather than just cowardly hiding up there. So I'm just, as you can see, spamming all the floor, making a at least a building that he's going to have to come into to fight me. And I've got some more wood, is that okay? Right, right, I'm just going to keep blocking off areas, make it difficult, as difficult as possible for him. He's trying to shockwave me, as you can see he's got the shockwave gun. Right, it's alright, I'm just going to keep building. You come down and fight me. Right, right I'm just going to chill here now. I should have probably stayed still, but... hey ho the most part of it and we could have had a chug jug off and then I thought well what I'm going to do I'm going to build like a little maze and then he'll come in and then they'll be like oh my god all these walls I was going to try and get through What I was hoping he was going to come down and, and actually fight me one to one instead of hiding. I'm like, come on, then, he's come down. And then he, he's gone back up. I was like, okay, he's gone back up again, I guess. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's constantly trying to go for the shotgun, the charge up shotgun. I'm like, right, I'm just gonna spam more if I can. And I'd run out at this point. I didn't realise I'd run out. I'm like, well, I'm I'm dead now. Unless I can chug it. some shield here just to obviously help out. Well, I did, this is what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to come down. I'm like, okay, he's not going to come down. And there we go. I don't know how he could see me, but there we go. I wish he'd come down. That's all I asked him, wanted him to do is come down, but cowardly deciding up there. <laughs> That's all he did. It's like I built that because I wanted to make sure that there was enough covering for him not to shockwave me out into the zone. I just wanted him to come down. But anyway, that's the way it is, I guess. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if new, tap that notification bell to be notified of all my videos and truly can be one of my convicts or a convict out for the ladies. And yes, it is I, the Cap Convict, selling out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you soon in another gameplay. There we go. So I was hoping to come down and have a good fight with him, but apparently he just wanted to hide up there like a girly. Oh, well. Bye for now.